and we shift now focus to the world of aviation where Emirates has suffered first loss in 30 years. So after suffering its first half yearly loss of $3.4 billion, first in three decades, state-owned Emirates has said that Dubai would help it through the coronavirus crisis. The Dubai government would support an airline, this airline's recovery, because it's being said by Sheikh Ahmed, who is also a senior member of Dubai's ruling family. He holds senior positions in government as well. Emirates said global travel restrictions meant that revenues it has dropped by 75%, to $3.2 billion as passenger traffic. It fell by 95% to $1.5 million in six months to the end of September. Emirates temporarily suspended most of its flights at the height of pandemic, and this has decimated global travel. Airline filled just 38.6% of seats on offer. It saw high demand for freight due to limited availability of air cargo services globally due to a drop in passenger flights. Meanwhile, Emirates, which a year ago reported $235 million half-yearly profit, received $2 billion in state assistance from Dubai government between April and September this year. An airline said it was an equity investment. Meanwhile, airline's operation is dependent on international demand as it does not operate domestic flights. Emirates Group, which includes airline and other aviation and travel assets, it saw revenue plunging 74% to $3.7 billion. It made a loss of $3.8 billion. The last time Emirates reported a loss was for financial year 1987 and 88, and that was primarily due to the cost of its startup operations. The number of group employees it has reduced 24% between April and September to 81,000. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.